Boom. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Retold. Glad to see you guys here. So excited for the stream. Me too. Brittany Whited. Hello, Black Rose, 1984. Danielle, I'm so sorry. You've had a rough week. Your whole family has been sick with stomach virus. My whole family was sick last week with the flu-like virus. Not stomach bug, but a flu-like virus. Everybody had fevers. I still went to work. Work. Remote work. While watching all four of my kids while having a fever myself. So I understand the struggle. Hello, Gabrielle. Or Ga Gabriel, sorry. Uh, Cheryl, Cheryl, hello. Thank you for 25 months as a supporter. I appreciate you, friend. We gotta get you down here, too. Maybe now that we're, like, not contagious. It was, uh, it was awful. It was the plague. Hello, joyful mystery writer. And Tori Samore and Deb B. And Ashley Cole and Chas versus Jazz and Rose Wise, Jenna Lips, Liz Loves Bowling, Jasmine Berg, April, uh, Emily, and I said Cheryl. I uh, missed someone. Uh, it's Lopesra. I missed, didn't get, got you. Will Macy. Hello. So glad to see you guys. I didn't realize, didn't realize that DJ Twin Gamers are live streaming on Twitch right now, too. Whoops, I didn't realize that when I set up my um, live stream for today. But I always live stream at this time. I, it's kind of hard for me to move things around. Where were we? Okay, we crashed a car. What a great way to start the stream. Actually, that was the end of last stream. Do -do -do -do. Okay, a closer look. I got goldfish cracker crumbs all over my desk because I was snacking before I got here. Okay. I probably should have grabbed another water. Danielle, you've had a cold too? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. It's been so rough. Ooh, new scene. Hmm. I bet I could fix this with my decryptor. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Whoops. Oh, come on. Work. Why, why won't it let me click? It won't let me click. It, it won't let me click. Oh my goodness, it was buggy there for a sec. It's not letting me click! Maybe I wasn't uh, fitting it correctly. Maybe that was the problem. I was not paying attention to that. There we go. I had to rotate it, maybe. That's a little panicky, you know, when you uh, can't do something and you're running out of time because it's a time puzzle. There we go. Let's see the problem here. Suspense music. Could have had a better score, but you know, I wasn't paying attention. How are you guys doing today? Otherwise? Welcome to the docks. During the filming of the first Pharaoh movie, the man-made lake you see before you doubled as the Nile River. Ten tons of sand and 2,000 palm trees were brought in so that in the movie's most spectacular scene, Lois Manson, starring as Nefertiti, Princess of the Nile, could appear to be surveying her domain from her royal barge. When the movie wrapped, the film's eccentric director demanded that the sand and trees be removed and that every set, no matter how elaborate, be bulldozed over. In 1943, a theme park was built on top of the buried sets. Unfortunately, World War II was raging and the public was in no mood for theme parks. Its owners went bankrupt and in 1947 the park was abandoned. The docks are among the attractions that were left behind. The steamship to your right, now empty, once housed a restaurant and was aptly dubbed the Nile Princess. On a more mysterious note, blueprints showing the exact locations of the original pharaoh sets were also left behind, albeit on purpose. The film's director supposedly hid them somewhere on the grounds of the park just before his death in 1949. These blueprints, if they truly exist, have never been found. Whoa! So according to that audio tour, the entire set from the 1937 pharaoh film was buried. 
and I'm standing on top of it right now. Ooh, we're standing on top of a buried set. How cool is that? You had tuna casserole for supper? It was really good? Oh, Deb, I'm glad. You know, I kind of like casseroles, if they're not like too weird. I mean, as an adult now, I appreciate vegetables in a dish. But as a kid, anything that was called a casserole would have been like, hmm, what's in it? But you know what? This casserole has a certain stigma about it, but I think it has a place in any home these days. They can be really good. They can be really good. I need a key for this one. I need a key. Ooh. There's a lot of net here. Okay. Where are these paw prints headed? If I tug on this, I can see what's on the end. Pull the rope. Nancy. It was a net. I need something. To oh, it's a slingshot. <gasps> We're going to cause some damage. <laughs> Noir. Ooh, binoculars are always handy indeed. I should open this to see what's inside. Can I do that with just my hands? A wrench! How nice. Here in the Midwest, you're all about the casseroles. Hey, that was like totally a 70s thing. And also any um, grown-ups who were children of the 60s and 70s became the parents who made casseroles for their kids in the 90s. So I, there is this really good... Okay, I don't know how healthy this actually was, but my favorite casserole as a kid was, um, it was white rice based with cream of mushroom soup, which is pretty typical for a casserole. Um, it had canned chicken, frozen peas and carrots, um, I think there might have been cheese sprinkled on top of it, and then saltine crackers broken up into crumbled disaster on top of it and just baked it in the dish one of the few things i actually ate as a kid that was kind of an adult food item like it was really good what are some casseroles or weird foods that are very much home style cooking that you guys really like because i'm talking about food now and i'm really hungry thank you deb Ooh. Wait, we can look at that with binoculars, right? Nile Princess. A pulley. Interesting. I can't see that far. I'm supposed to look. Go up to it. <gasps> A key in the light. Okay, we got all of it. So what are we going to do? We're going to need... Put something in that slingshot. What are we pulling here? We have a wrench. That doesn't go to that. I don't even know. Maybe with the wrench and the slingshot? No. Pulley. With the wrench? Pulley to this? I don't know. What are we doing? Somebody help. So that needs a key. We can't use our picks. A lot of net. Pulley that? No. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, what? Tuna noodle casserole with potato chips to add crunch. Sounds weird, but super- Yes, Cheryl, yes! Crumbled chips, yeah. Breadcrumbs, melted butter, and Parmesan cheese. That sounds amazing, Deb. America, so you start. Your husband flatly refuses to eat tuna casserole. His mother used to make it with peas. He hates peas, and now he associates tuna casserole and tuna in general with peas. It's a problem. I love it. <laughs> no peas. Give it a different name. Don't call it a casserole. Call it a tuna dish. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hello, Tori. You're in and out of chat tonight. These are fantastic. Sugar snap peas. Oh, those are good. If layered well, would lasagna be considered a, <laughs> considered a casserole lasagna? Uh, maybe? I think it's just called a pasta. Paw prints. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 
missing something here? Hang on. Do my does my taskbar light up anything when I click on any of these in particular? Nope. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm trying to figure out. <gasps> Tater tot casserole. That's good. I like tater tots. You gotta sneak in vegetables somehow. To call it healthy. A lot of net. So how do we move this net? Pulley. Wrench. Wrench. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be connecting here. It says look for evidence, but there's nothing else to search for because it says zero. Nile princess, huh? Yeah, I don't think I see anything else. What? The cat was eating what was something something. Oh, fish. Fish heads. The cat didn't eat the fish heads. Are we gonna throw fish heads at the light? to get hit with that. No, I don't think so. You know, only in an anti Drew game would you ever consider using a slingshot and loading it with a stinky cat head to try to get a key. Cool, cool and wet. Wow, what a great observation, Nancy. Cool and wet. The water is cool and wet. Ooh, this is hot. The key is hot. Sure. Oh, what's this? Put it in. Okay, get water. Hey, there's something down in the water. I wonder if that buoy is marking something. Okay. There we go. Something's in there. Water is wet. Wow. Fact of the day. What do you know? You learn something new every day, huh, Cheryl? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. You pre cooked the bees before adding to tuna casserole to stop it? Yeah. That, that's good. Okay. So we have that to this. So now we have a hook and pulley. Um, now what do we do with it? Wrench? That's all we have left to do. Uh, get it into the water with our hands. Pull the rope. What'd we get? Pull it up. Okay. <gasps> a treasure chest. I should see what says I'm inside plans of some kind. Let's take a look. These must be the blueprints they were talking about in the audio tour. Looks final like the scene. final filming Wait. took place under the house on Main Street. Ooh. Matt, you have to figure out what to eat tonight. I've been putting off dinner and don't want to keep getting up. I have zero energy to get food. What do you have in your pantry, Matt? Maybe we could throw some ideas together. You know what well, my laziest thing to do? Uh, one of the laziest things as a single person. Um, if, if I have chicken, like, thawed out, I would just put chicken in a dish, dump salsa on top of it, and bake it until the chicken is cooked. Have salsa chicken. So lazy. Hello, Corius! So glad you were able to catch it. You just finished work. Oh, that's awesome. Victory, end of the day, reward. Where are we going? To the garden. That cellar door looks like a good way to get under the house. But these crows won't let me by. I have to distract them somehow. Um, d uh, d caveat right here. Um, this... I shared this game with my grandpa. He hated this part. And he always, any opportunity he has to talk about which puzzle was the worst, it was this puzzle. Because this required a hand-eye coordination. And he couldn't see what he was doing. So I understand. It's frustrating. He tells me I need to pay close attention to color. Oh, I am so sorry. That's rough, Matt. That is so rough. He couldn't tell you what we have in the fridge or cabinets? 
Uh, yeah, trying to make up stuff as you go is, is difficult. Because you have to go snooping through your stuff. See what's available. <laughs> or DoorDash something. Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates. Use the battery. With what? Flashlight. Yeah. Pro green. Is that one green? That one's a white band, okay. Okay, green, green. It's a red eye. Black, I guess. Uh, white. That one's blue. Is there another silver one? That one's red. That one's blue. Oh, gold. Oh, kitty cat. Hi, kitty kitty. Black. Black. Okay. Gold. Wait, that's red. That's red. We're still looking for more things. Oh, orange. Red. Cutie crows. Still missing. Oh, who are you? Silver. Wait, that doesn't go? Oh, okay. Is that orange? I can't tell. I guess it's orange. That was terrible. That looked like a terrible orange color. Blue. Are you blue? No. You're blue. I'm gonna do this fast. What is this? Coco Cola Red! And yellow. That's silver. Yellow. Gold. Missing a crow. <gasps> One at a time. Uh, red. Where did the red go? No. One at a time. Who are you? You're silver. Oh, hey, you. There. This is a terrible flashlight. Yellow. Oh, shoot! That oh, wasn't no. fast enough. I'll have to start over. Yes, I can pick on the crows. Okay. Blue, okay. Black cat. Blue. Okay. You are white. You are blue. Or silver, I guess. Silver. Red. Red. Green. Wait, who is that? for you. I'd be happy with that too. Kitty cat. Black. Green. Who's green? You're green. Silver. Green. Blue. Silver. 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 Orange. Blue. Wait, we have blue. Red. Oh, okay. That was pan. Hey, where's the other crow? Wait, that's green. 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 Gold. Oh, there's two more over here. Yellow. Oh, we're silvery, huh? Phew. There they go. Now to get into that cellar. There we go. It is just a plain mean puzzle, Jake. I know, right? Don't like time limits. Yeah, so timed puzzles are really hard, especially when the mechanics are a bit difficult, like requires hand-eye coordination. Yeah, and pick the lock. Yeah. I realized I wasn't recording this stream. Oh well. Oh, blast it all! This is a challenge.
It's focus time! Okay, deposit items that we don't want there. Okay, I'll put that there. Get rid of those. Also a time kind of puzzle. Kind of. We're doing pretty good. I think we're gonna finish the game today, don't you think? Whoa, what's in here? I should light these candles so I can check out this room. Creepy crawlies. Ugh. Matt Manita, are you quoting the lockpicking lawyer? Because that is a fun YouTube channel. You guys should totally check out the lockpicking lawyer. I bought, uh, my husband bought me, um, some of the stuff that he promotes, so I do have a lot I can get. Need a match. Candles. Ooh, treasures. Looking for a match. Ooh, dead things. Matches. Candles. How many candles are there? They don't stay lit for very long. Rude. Any over here? Aha. Oh, how many more are there? Darn, oh, I didn't no. light them all in time. I'll have to try that again. Oh, it's way over there. That's that's so mean. We're like pixel hunting now. You know, sometimes when in doubt, you can just kind of quickly move your cursor around the scene for any light ups. How many are there? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll have to start ah. over. This is terrible. You have good hand-eye coordination, you just don't like time puzzles. Fair enough. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can't identify all of them first. Okay, there's one there. There. Any more? Here we go. I think we've prepped our work. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another one. There it is. Okay, great. Here we go. It has to go so fast. Not one over there? Okay. You got that lit? Oh, I did that one. Oh, okay. Aha! Yes! You know. In real life, candles don't exactly work this way. That is very true. They're not like trick candles. They actually stay lit for a while. Oh, speaking of. I got candles in my shop now. This one's coffee. It smells really good. I can't light it um, because um, it'll give me like 
headaches <laughs> uh, in our household. But I lit it, this one, just for a few seconds so I could take a picture of it lit. This will be a prize item in next week's live stream. I know, it's like a used candle, sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be a prize. I can't use it. Okay, what are we doing? <gasps> what do I spy? Flash bomb? Flash boom? Can I take it? Can I look at it? Aha! So this is where all the flash boom ended up. I'll bet someone is using it to look for the lost footage. Mm. <gasps> I need a closer look. Hmm, that this looks, looks tricky. I don't think my lockpick kit will work on this one. McNally official who also works for Covert Instruments. Nice. Okay, I will look into that. Okay, we need a key. Someone's outside. I'm going to find out who. Snoopity Snoop. Hello, Angry Bloat. How are you today, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Oh, no, Aaron, Missing Star. That's a tragic tale. Who, who's there? The princess. Nancy! Oh my gosh, you scared me. Oh my gosh, my heart's not beating. I I'm not kidding, I can't feel my pulse! Oh wait, there it is. What are you doing out here? Arthur sent me to look for you. Oh, what's the answer? Because you're dropping necker beads everywhere? Is it A, B, C, D, or E? Oh, it's because of this one, isn't it? You didn't show up for the meeting at the Casbah? I think that was it. No, I wish you guys could smell that candle. It smells really good. It smells like a sweet coffee. Because you didn't show up for your meeting at the Casbah. I'm hiding. I was on my way to that meeting when I suddenly got this premonition that something terrible was about to happen. So I've just been walking around trying to make the feeling go away. I think I've discovered. You could have just had a better excuse. Like I took a nap and I lost track of time. Okay. Who put that snake in your locker? Who took the jewel of the Nile? Who has been spying on you? I, I think that's one. Who let the cat out? Who will be replacing Tatiana? I think I've discovered who's been spying on you. Really? Bye, Let's Jasmine. hear it. Good to see George you, Jackson. He's been following you around taking pictures without your knowing. Ew! Maybe he's the reason for... Your fear of snakes? Your premonition? Tatiana's resignation? That cat sticking around. Maybe he's the reason for your premonition. My what? Oh, my premonition. Yeah, right. He probably is, the weirdo. <laughs> Do you think George Jackson is? Wait, well, you got interrupted by an ad, Deb B. I am so sorry. She probably didn't hear me. Hello, Liv. How are you today, my friend? We've been talking about casseroles. Do you have a favorite casserole? <laughs> um, George Jackson, responsible for the cat, responsible for the accident, a snake wrangler, calling calling the tabloids? Responsible for Tatiana's resignation. Oh my goodness, what's with Tatiana's re resignation? Um, which one is it? One, two, three, four, five. Gabriel says this one. I'm wondering if it's tabloids or the accident. Hmm. She does sound like Lori from Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Are responsible for the accidents? Yes. Do you think George Jackson is responsible for the accidents? If he's as twisted as you say, it wouldn't surprise me. Although, my money would have been on Arthur. Arthur Hitchens? Why? My agent says he's one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. Not because he's super rich, but because everybody owes him. In fact, if I were you, I'd figure out how to sneak a peek inside that safe in his office. I bet you'd find all sorts of goodies in there.
third crate here contained that decoder, but what's this Valley of the Kings one? I'd better head over to stage A to find out. The safe is locked, naturally. Did I mute myself again? I did. Sorry. Thank you. What would I do without you guys? Mic is out. Okay. <gasps> what could the combination be? Wait, well, we have to take a look at it first. Okay. The combination is plain to see. Plain, plain, plain. Here we go. Plain is on a hinge. What happens if I move it? Ooh. Something's written there. This must be the code to the safe! Okay, left, Sammy's birthday, right, Treasure Island volume, left, Coat Inspector. Okay, Sammy's birthday. Who's Sammy? <laughs> Who is Sammy? Who is Holmes? 21st. Okay, and then, um... Oh, hang on. Shake it. No, look at it. Inspected by number 37. Uh, what was... Uh, Treasure Island. Okay, here we go. Treasure Island on the bookshelf, right? Looks interesting. Volume 9 from Classic Collections. And this to here. There we go! I can open it now. This. Hmm. What's all this? Maybe I should all try this? out this phone number. Ooh, and bolt cutters. Why would you put bolt cutters in the safe unless it was evidence you wanted to hide? Use it. Ring -a ding ding. Creamy garlic potato casserole is amazing. <gasps> You've reached the office of Lydia Lynn, oh, Tinsel Pound Tattler Celebrity Journalist. Leave a juicy message after the beep. That was interesting. Ooh, he's been calling the tabloids. Here we go, here we go. Oh, Angry Glove, uh, the Nancy Drew games on Steam? are all bonus editions. They are. Because we, I think we supplied them the digital download and we kept it as... You're not supposed to know that, though. It's kind of obvious, though, once you turn it on. Um, I can see what they're doing. You just need to turn this on. Okay. Scene 73, take four. Storyboards. Okay, let's take a look here. The fake cobra scene! With an arc. Oh, now what? What crate was it? I totally didn't pay attention. A shovel. Handy. the crate from the manifest in Arthur's office. Open it with a shovel. No. Open it with her hands. <gasps> Hello, Maggie. Hello. So glad to see you. Why does this game aesthetic remind you of Clue? Ancient things, I guess. Valley of the Kings set. Cliffs, park, cliffs, dunes, ramp. This looks like the temple. Okay. Look we have a shovel though. What's this? This prop is so light, I bet I can move it. Thank you. Now we're 
now I can climb up to the set. Okay. Why do we want to do that? What are we doing now? I'm a bit confused. Pixel hunting. Pixel hunting. Aha! The Ark is buried here. you're playing on the switch how nice nerdy geek gamer you enjoy that i miss just relax playing on the switch what is so special about the heart well let's take a closer look a coded lock oh fun times okay nausea haje haje is what it's known by among scientifics another name has been applied and trait using the hieroglyphs okay so we match these again Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Do we have enough characters for Egyptian cobra? Okay. So hang on. Um. Let's do E for Egyptian, which was E. Do I know how to spell? No. E G Y. Can you guys type Egyptian in chat for me? Why <laughs> it is. This one. T I which is the birdie A that feathery thing and is the I. Thank you very much. C's for Cobra. Double eyes. The R pyramid and A is yes. Oh, this is a lock pick I need oh. to get into that sarcophagus under the main street house. I think it's time for a little powwow. Well, well, the gang's all here. Oh. Where have you been? Believe it or not, I was actually worried about you. As well you should have been. I was hiding. From Mr. Spy Cam here. You talking to me? Who else would I be talking to? George, I saw... Um, your interesting room service bill, your scorpion collection, and the Lois Manson research on your computer, and the photos you took of Molly behind your back. Molly? He didn't take photos of Molly. He took photos of... Which one is it? Makeshift photo lab. Oh, he did have a photo lab. I saw your makeshift photo lab, along with the photos of Ida you took behind her back. Or should I say, of her back? You were snooping in my room? She's a detective, freak lips. How did you know she was a detective? I told her. I was trying to calm her down after... Someone put that, was it, a, it was a snake in her locker, right? She saw all the photos that she didn't see all the photos that George took. Thanks for lurking and hanging out, Will. Glad to know you're here. You enjoy. Almost her by collapsed scaffolding. She saw the person who took the flash boom. I think it was a snake, right? After Thank someone you, put that snake in her locker. Someone put a snake in your locker? Apparently, taking pictures of me wasn't enough. I did not put that snake in your locker. Come on, who else would have done it? Actually, you. Hey, look, Ida may not be my favorite person, but I would never risk traumatizing her like that. It would jeopardize the picture. Probably true, but that snake wasn't meant for her. It was meant for me. While I was checking out that video chip, you shoved that snake into Ida's locker. You knew the wardrobe room would be my next stop. After I saw the snake on the video clip, Cloak. What was it that we said? It's been so long since I've played, I don't know what the answer is. Crocodile. Shaved bolt. The axe. I think it was the cloak. Yeah. Hello, Sarah. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Thank you guys for the answer. We're talking about casseroles. Do you have a favorite casserole? 
You knew it would be my next stop after I saw the cloak on the video chip because you'd already seen that it was missing from the reference model. You let all the reptiles out of their cages too, just in case I somehow missed the snake. Ew! Rude. Oh my gosh, you're both freaks! <laughs> you tried to scare Nancy off the case? She realized I actually knew what I was doing and was afraid I might somehow... Take over her job. Put a snake in her locker. Keep her from finding that lost footage. Break into her room. Cause more accidents. I think it's a smart one. And was afraid I might somehow keep her from finding that lost footage. You broke into your own prop room to make it look like someone else took that flesh boom, didn't you? And you tried to frame me for the snake stuff with that stupid swizzle stick. Okay, okay. So maybe the idea of finding that lost footage made me do things that were a little excessive. But I never used any of the flash boom because finding the entrance to the original Pharaoh set is impossible. And I never put anybody's life in danger like you did. Since when is feeding a cat a threat to anybody's life? I'm talking about the accidents. Oops. You're the reason that black cat's always running around distracting the crew? I just thought it would hype the Lois Manson curse rumor that I... sort of started. Uh -huh. But so what? Curses are great publicity. The Tinseltown Tattler lapped it up when I... sort of called them and told them about it. But that's nowhere near as bad as what Peeping George here has been doing. I was taking pictures of that mark on your back. What mark on my back? The one that's just like the mark Lois Manson had on her back. The one that meant she was cursed. There really is a curse, people. Seriously, mate, you need to shut this production down before history repeats itself and somebody gets killed. You moron. That's a scar from a tattoo I had removed when I landed this part. You actually believe in curses? You're darn right I do. Hey, no look what happened to the so people who opened the tomb of King Tut. Right, that's enough. Enough. Run, hide. The big bad curse is... What? Run, hide. Run, hide. Run, hide. Just go to your rooms and get a good night's sleep. Okay, Dad. All of you. Now. We've got a picture to finish. You know, Mr. Hitchens, okay. something Ida said earlier has been bothering me. All these accidents, yet no one's been hurt. I think I know who's been causing them. I think you do, too. Ida was right about publicity. The surest way to create a blockbuster is to get the media talking about the picture before it opens. So you caused the accidents, taking care that no one got hurt, but instead of reporting them, you closed the set knowing word would leak out anyway, and that all the secrecy would attract lots of media attention. Correct. But from what I just witnessed, I'm afraid this film is headed for catastrophe no matter how many mishaps I arrange or how much publicity they generate. No, only one thing can save me from financial ruin. That lost footage. Please, Nancy, you must find it. No, not a very nice thing to say at all, Nerdy Geek Gamer. Oh, bonus round! Oh boy, okay. Find each match before time runs out! Oops. See, how fast can we go? How fast can we go? Seconds left. Ooh, 251. Woohoo! Uh, seven seconds left. So close to finishing that one. Okay. I feel like we've been at this marker point forever. <clears throat> Time to revisit that sarcophagus and try out this new lockpick. Are we close to the end? I have been so long since I've played this game. I think I played Resorting to Danger last year. 
Um, I did. Oh boy. What are we looking for? More candles, huh? More candles. The candle thingy again. Here we go. Light the candles. There. There. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Okay, let's use that with that. What will we find? Not this puzzle! Oh, but it tells me what's next. So that means I could just prep, um, prep some of these. Yeah. No, here. Then this one, there. Oh, thank you for the hearts. <laughs> and then yellow. Oh, I can't put that there. Okay, that's a drop there. So we got blue. And then, Oy. okay, um, oh dear, what did I just do? Okay, that's for that, Need another blue, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Got that one. Got that one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Two. Space. Um. Oh, this is a chunk. Oh boy. I don't know. This is a tech tricky one. Oh, we just need like one more. Oh dear, okay. That can go there. That can go there. That, that, just need yellow. Yes. It's a passageway that leads farther underground. <gasps> oh boy, I guess I have to climb down through this sarcophagus. Ooh, through a sarcophagus, oh boy. I recognize that sound effect. It was used in Treasure the Royal Tower for a bolted door. Darn, the passage is blocked. But it looks like someone's been using Flash Boom to get deeper underground. This is my chance to finish the excavation and find that lost footage first. I just read through all of that while mute. I was just reading through the instructions. My goodness. I do that because I've been clearing my throat so much. I'm getting over that sickness. Thank you for catching me again. I was just reading through all this. Okay. That's a bummer because I was entertaining. One more thing. Don't set off an explosion that's not next to a rock. 
Doing so will cause more random rocks to fall into your playing field. Let's start excavating with an extra space in between those two words. Oh. Okay. Do green down here. Okay. Oh, this is a lot like like aggregation or whatever. at all. Okay. Oh, the fuse goes out after a time. Okay. That. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Don't put that there. Just stack up those here. Uh, I don't want to put that there. Don't want that. Once that. Hello. All right. Yay. We're still forever stuck at this seventy-five percent spot. Whoa! Where am I? I need to find a way to light up this room. Not again. Ooh! Flashlight turned back on. Oh, reflective. Ooh, we're in a cool space. That's reflective. Reflective. So what are we, connecting all the reflectives? Shiny things, okay. So what do we, what do we do? We just... Oops, I'd better try this again. Oh, okay, so we start here. It's like going in that direction. No, okay. Is it going to there? No. Does it flip here? Is that how we're supposed to connect it with the angles? Do you touch it? Oh, oh, okay. I see. We move it. Okay. Move that one. Okay. Move this one. Oh, that sound sounds terrible. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, oh. Oh. Wow. Cool. Let's check this place out. Ooh, see something inside. Audio diary, what? You found a gramophone record. You can access it from your journal under notes. What, where? Here. ZV Collingwood here. It is January 25th, 1937. Today, Pharaoh at long last wrapped. To say that it has been a tumultuous shoot is an understatement. I have convinced the studio that the entire set should be bulldozed over immediately. Given all that's happened, such a burial, dark and dramatic, is bound to generate massive amounts of free publicity, I told them. Which is true. But it's not the whole truth. That is what I shall bury, the truth in its entirety, so that someday, some worthy soul can discover it. Wow. Okay. <gasps> What's this? Another letter from ZBC. You've made it this far. There's only one thing left. Remove Lois from your path to see the truth. I've left you one more clue to be your guide. First, Lois flies with the grace unrehearsed. Next, Lois quenches the desert's deep thirst. Thirdly, she creeps and she scurries and stings. And lastly, she honors the deaths of great kings. Oh boy. Okay. 
when do I remove this? I, huh? So we spell Lois? Is that what we do? That's an I. There's a lot more to see. L. Oh, I see. Okay. O. It has to go with a poem. Let's take a look again. Spell Lois with the pictures. Yeah. So, L O I S. And the one we want is first, flies with the grace unrehearsed. Lois quenches the desert's deep thirst, which is like rain. She creeps, scurries, and sings at the scorpion. She honors the deaths of great kings. Okay, let's see if we can't do this. Hello, Kelly Montgomery. Welcome to the stream. Oh, the bird. Okay. Kings. I think that's the pyramid of kings. Okay. Scorpion O. S. I. Okay, hang on. Let's do the L first, which is something about flying. L with flying. <clears throat> so that one. Okay, check. So O as in rain. Oops. Oh. I'd better try this again. So, not rain? Oh, they all moved around. Okay, let's find L. Okay, bird. For L. So, quenches the desert's thirst with an O. I feel like it's that one, but... Oh, all the birds first. Oh! So we spell Lois four times. Okay. So it's O bird. Got it. Did I miss it? I clicked on it? Right in the middle? My bad. That's the eye. Aha! Uh, okay, I, bird. And then S, bird. Drew walkthroughs. You were getting close to the end. I'm so glad you're here. How are you doing today? <clears throat> okay, we're trying to find the eye with the bird on it. Did I click on it already? Or did we already do the eye? I think we did the eye, right? We're looking for the S bird. Thank you, Matt. Okay, we've spelled all the birds with Lois. Now we need to do the rain. 26 month! Oh, thank you for support. Nancy Drew walkthroughs. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so O rain. No, L rain. A little tedious. No. L rain, there it is. Okay, O rain. I rain. There's the S. There it is. And then S rain. Oops. 
What I'd better I... try this again. Snap. No chat delay? What does that mean? Do I need to fix something? Please do share. I have to start all over? Oh, I don't want to. Okay, so we're looking for L bird, right? Goodness gracious, it's gonna take forever. <clears throat> Rain. We're getting further now. Scorpion time. Where is L? There it is. Oh, scorpion. I, scorpion. And then S, scorpion. And then kings. L. O. Oh, it's over here. Oh dear goodness. Oh dear goodness. Did I get it? Oh goodness. That was a tricky one. Whoa, we <gasps> The Lost Film! The Lost Footage! It really exists! Awesome. Oh my gosh! The director kept the original jewel of Karnak for himself! To whom it may concern, if you were hoping to find the Jewel of Karnak, I'm sorry to disappoint you. The jewel that appeared in Pharaoh was a replica which I secretly had made. I kept the real gem for myself. I admit it, I am a thief. However, I am by no means a murderer. Cur Contrary to what people have said about me, I and may still be saying, I had nothing to do with the death of Lois Manson. What you now possess proves it. You are here because of my desperate need for someone, someday, to know the truth about the jewel, about Lois, about me. The path, the path down which I have led you has not been easy. I applaud your perseverance, but more important, I thank you. ZB Collingwood. This is dramatic. <gasps> Creepy fingernails. Yeah. Nancy, look out! drama princess so where is it ada how'd you I... get here i followed you i've been following you ever since i more or less told you to look in arthur's safe so where's the jewel the jewel of karnak it was never here not the real one at least the director couldn't resist having an exact replica made and keeping the original for himself it's all right here in this letter there's no jewel of karnak in here i don't believe it here we are, on the very set where the original Pharaoh was shot, just like I planned, only there's no jewel? How am I supposed to get rich and famous now? By being... A really good actor? A complete ditz, maybe? <laughs> the star of this movie, maybe? The girl who didn't find the jewel of Karnak, maybe? The resident genius, maybe? The cause for more accidents. By being the star of this movie, maybe? Are you kidding? Even I'm smart enough to know this movie is going to be a disaster! 
Unless... What if disaster were to strike again? Oh my gosh! If someone were to die as tragically and mysteriously as Lois Manson did on this movie... Oh my gosh! It would make headlines all over the world! Ada, what are you talking about? Publicity! You die in a cave-in down here. We finish the film in your memory. It opens... BAM! Smash hit! And I'm rich and famous after all. I totally die angry. in a cave-in? Yeah, that part's kind of a bummer. But hey, that's showbiz. It was a pleasure working with you, Nancy. Bye-bye. Ida's using Flash Boom to try to bury you alive. Excavate your way out before you become part of the set's ancient history. Your bombs are now on the left side of the screen. Ida controls the bombs on the right. You can also see some wooden crates that are occasionally dropping uh, drop onto you, into your screen. If you use your bombs to blow up a crate, they will cause random bombs to fall into Ida's side. Use your bombs to blow up a crate. It will cause, okay. Watch out because she can do the same thing. Oh, ready? Move quickly to trap Ida before she traps you. Oh. Fun. Oh, nuts! I missed it. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's not going so good. Oh boy. Okay, that works. Yeah, yeah. Lost, but I'm still going. Why? Why am I still going? Did I, did I, I didn't. Um, how do I win? I'm confused. <laughs> Understanding this fully. Uh oh. Here we go. Better. Better. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Thank you for the purple hearts. It's not going so great. That's a thing. Hurry! Everything's about to collapse! Ah! Oh, she's stuck. Well, Ida, Mystery looks like you got your wish for publicity after all. Cat signs three picture deal. <laughs> Jerry the Puppet, his final hours. Celebrity skate off ends in tragedy. Oh dear. Faux oh, Hall of Fame. How do we do? Not so great. Oh, great. How much more do we have left? We've got quite a bit. That's quite an ending. I want to finish this before next week's stream. Hugh, 
of which I need to talk to you. I think I've got to figure out what I want to be doing. All I have to do is send Hugh Time to see what's on this lost footage. And if you're game, Hugh, if you're game, oh, it's I got Lois some fun Manson. for you. <gasps> She's alive? So, Lois Manson didn't die from a snake bite on the set of the first Pharaoh after all. Actress that she was, she faked the whole thing. The director was obviously in on it, as well as the coroner who signed her death certificate. So she must have been some kind of spy or federal witness or something. In any case, once the camera stopped rolling, she vanished into history. But in spite of all the publicity generated by the footage of her death, as well as by Ida's convenient nervous breakdown, which allowed her to avoid prosecution when it came to that cave-in. Pharaoh tanked at the box office. Molly McKenna, who believe it or not, wound up adopting that stray black cat I'd been chasing all over the lot, didn't really care. But Arthur Hitchens was devastated. Was it looks like the movie set will be bulldozed over once again to build not Pharaoh land, but a strip mall. Which was fine by George Jackson. Despite his denials, he deeply resented the fact that Arthur had used his considerable influence to make George unemployable unless he directed Pharaoh. Uh. George was happy the film was a flop. I guess he was too busy relishing Arthur's misery to realize that the movie's failure wasn't exactly a boon to his career either. As for me, the Tinseltown Tattler has been hounding me for months, trying to get the inside scoop of my adventure. I'm thinking I'll just have their people call my people. Which means I'll have to train my people, i.e. Togo, to answer the phone. But something tells me having to talk to a dog won't faze their people one bit. Yay! A banana! <laughs> hmm, ordering food at the Casbah. Driving with your feet? What? With an uh, octopus. Oh, dinosaur head. Narwhal. Ew, the snake and the cat. Oh, the cat is filming. Go, kitty. Ooh, sketch dart. I like it. I like it. Oh, the crazy crows. Concept art? I don't remember seeing this. This is awesome. Banana! There's no in between. That's right, Cheryl. <laughs> okay, I have seen that. I have not seen that. I have seen Arthur. George Jackson. Lovely. 2008? That was... I learned where my next case would take me. The Redondo, an exclusive spa where the rich and famous go to get nipped, tucked, or just plain indulged. Massages, gourmet meals, exotic beauty treatments, luxurious rooms. Unfortunately, someone has added danger to its list of amenities by planning devices that suddenly explode with potentially deadly results. Help me unmask this mad bomber before the spa's wealthy clients start checking out for good in my next adventure. Hmm, I didn't quite get it. Better luck next time. Can we still, like, continue playing it and earning the last little bit? I don't know. But that was the end of the game. And so next week will be a fun one. I'm still trying to get set up because I have not finished collecting all of my fun trivia, but next week is going to be a trivia week. Um, Co-hosting with Hugh, of which I need to touch base with. Um, Hugh, all I have to do is send you a link for you to join in browser. And uh, if you're up for playing some games live on stream just for funsies while we give away prizes to other people in the stream, and if there's something that you want to contribute to that too, we can make time for that. Um, but otherwise you can also stream ahead of me. I've also, um, 
I reached out to someone for potentially adding more prizes to this mix, but I've got enough prizes for everything, so no worries. Um, yeah, okay, we'll touch base. Thanks to you guys for hanging out, saying hello, helping out with the game, stopping by, just lurking. That's all good, too. I'll see you guys next week. I will be playing Harry Potter tomorrow morning if all goes well. And to answer your question, <clears throat> Gabriel um, actually was sorted into Slytherin. Fun times. Have a great rest of your week, you guys. And I'll see you next week for the Nancy Drew April 1st anniversary of Mystery of the Seven Keys teases. Good night. Bye. Where's the out button? I always forget where the out button is. Oh, it's right here.